All right, here we are, the fifth and final round of Swiss in the CQ Invitational. We're paired up against uh, Clamate Cronin and his Planeswalker heavy deck. He has a total of nine Planeswalkers. It's basically just a um, control deck that casts uh, either Jace or Tezzeret. Um, Hazeman has one uh, Ashiok and the rest of the deck is basically just uh, some control elements and um, he also has the Tinker and Vulcan Blightsteel classes. So we were fortunate to win the die rolls. We are going to go first. This opening hand is uh, decent. So I am going to keep it. It's not ideal, um, but it's certainly certainly a lot better than <coughs> some potential hands. He doesn't have Wasteland either, so um, we don't have to worry about that. He does have one strip mine, but that's it. So I'm going to lead off with uh, Tundra and pass the turn. Sorry about that motorcycle. Live on a busy street. So anyway, uh, so Cronin leaves off with a Seat of the Synod and a Mental Misstep. I'm going to, uh, I'm sorry, he leads off with a Seed of Synod and a Sol Ring, which I'm going to mental misstep. There we go. And we draw a Mana Drain, that's pretty good. And here comes another motorcycle. Unfortunately, we don't really have anything to drain into, uh, but it might come to the Grim Monolith, maybe? Yes, Sacred Monolith. Um, I really don't want him to have that Grim Monolith, so I'm uh, gonna drain that. So we draw another mana source, which we really didn't need. Um, so we will not do anything with that. Mana, and we'll just pass the turn. So one more turn we can Snapcaster back the Mana Drain. Which would be nice. get there. So we cast a demonic tutor. That's dangerous. Looks like he's gonna tinker here. what I would imagine he's doing. Is there anything I can do about that? Except plow it right now. Alright, so we survived that. A second Snapcaster Mage, alright. I'll definitely want to play land though. So at some point we're going to have to fire off a Snapcaster Mage here. Maybe he plays something that we can Mana Drain into. That would be nice, like a Jace.
drain the jace here. Alright, so we got, although he's at 29 life, we do have a board presence. And a brainstorm will help. Let's see what we can brainstorm into. Um, Supreme Verdict definitely does not help us at all. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can actually fetch and cast um, Batter Skull right now. Or I can get Jeet and equip it. Um, I think I might prefer Jeet. It's a tough choice. I'm going to grab Jit and equip it to Snapcaster Mage right now. This might be wrong, but I think. I want to try and take advantage of the turn that I can possibly get out of this and make uh, Snapcaster Mage a threat um, to a Planeswalker next turn. And if nothing else, if he bounces one, if he casts Jace per se and bounces um, the Snapcaster Mage, I can still equip the G to the Stoneforge Mystic to kill it. So in the standings, I'm in 10th. I need to win for sure uh, in order to get in here. Yogmoth's will, huh? Well, I'm definitely not going to let that happen. My brainstorm is not too bad. So let's see here. So I can... Pump him up. I think that might be the best plan here. Cronin is also 2-2. Two and two. He is ahead of me. He is actually in the top 8 right now, so I think the winner of this game might get in. Let's see, so Tezzeret the Seeker. Okay, so he's going to search up a Time Vault, per perhaps? Doesn't say. I guess it was two. So he's gonna get a time fall. Which is interesting. So basically gonna force me to attack uh, Yeah, he's gonna mm, it's tricky.
So basically, he's going to try and uh, top deck uh, Voltaic or maybe he already has Voltaic Key. That would be an, uh, that would be frustrating. I'm just going to cast another Tezzeret. Okay, well, none of these do me anything at all. Um, I guess I can put that back, keep the swords, <laughs> uh, in case he makes somebody a 5-5. Five five. Yes, that was ugly. Well, we got a mana vault. That's not a voltaic key, thankfully. The question is, do I want to play Stoneforge Mystic next turn? Um, I could use this Stoneforge Mystic to get the... Yeah, so I'm going to draw this Stoneforge Mystic and then shuffle. Well, I don't have to then shuffle. Come on the field now. Um, yeah, I don't see any real need to do that yet. He is dangerous, so I can get 10 damage in plus. Alright. Plus the batter skull. but it was not something I actually want at all. Um, that isn't really anything I want either, but it'll have to do. Puts him at one, gives him another turn to top deck a Voltaic key. And he fell on his sword. Alright, so we got game one here. Stoneforge Mystic gets the job done. Um, so now, uh, going into the sideboard is kind of interesting, I mean, he really depends on these artifacts uh, to really get ahead of the game. Um, Stony Silence might actually not be terrible, and it's probably better than Supreme Verdict, for sure. Um, Maybe I don't want four, maybe I want three. 
and then I can I can take out this direction. This direction is probably pretty bad against him. I don't I don't think let's see what his sideboard looks like. So in this sideboard he can bring in Buster Storm, that's about it. Yeah, I think misdirection is probably not that good. Okay, so this opening hand is really mana light. I mean, really mana light. Double force in a mana drain, so if I draw into a land with brainstorm, I'm in good shape. If the mental missteps my brainstorm, noting that I hadn't played a land if I wait until turn two and I mental misstep it. I end up keeping this hand. Um, I'm going to keep, but I don't particularly like this hand. I mean, in general it's a good hand, but I kind of have two dead cards in Jeet and Source the Plowshares. Alright, so he's got a bunch of mana. I get a Ponder. Ponder is much better on turn one. So I'm going to grab Tundra and Ponder. I see two lands and a Stoneforge Mystic, which is kind of perfect. I want a land. I want a Stoneforge Mystic and a land. I don't think there's a need to. Shuffle that away. Alright, so he's not doing anything. He's got a bunch of mana and he's holding out. Alright, I think as much as I want to mana drain, I think I want to get. Stoneforge Mystic online. I have double force if someone think I was really hairy. He fetched to thin, huh? He's got quite a bit of mana over there. Maybe he debated on keeping his hand because it had too much mana? Alright, so we didn't draw, draw a land. Shuffled with that third land away, unfortunately, but we still have the opportunity to Stoneforge out this, uh, oh, not the discard, huh? I guess, uh, Swords to Plowshares gets the Evo. Hmm, probably was worth holding on to that, but we'll see if that comes back to bite me.
Well, I got the swords back anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on the Stoneforge Mystic so that I can play Jit next turn. Um, and it leaves me Mana Drain Up and Double Force, so I'm in pretty good shape here. Even with only two lands. So he's going to Toxic Deluge here. So he's going to Mana Drain my Mana Drain. I think I definitely want to make sure my Mana Drain gets some mana. And so do I. Well, I needed every ounce of that permission. The good thing is, I can drop uh, Jit into play and. Um, not that it really matters, but... Yep. Equip to the germ token. I'm going to play that just in case something goes hairy. Sorts of plowshares for some reason. Wow. So he killed himself twice. Alright, so we are three and two. I think we made it in the top eight, but uh, we'll see what happens.